Hey guys, Pokemon 2130 right here showing you guys how to make a 307 RuneScape private server. Um, it's easier than the 508 in my, one of my videos. Um, I would say it's a bit more better because, I don't know, I just like the old school types. Things you will need, basic Java knowledge at the most. Um, JDK and... Um, I don't even know. Being having the capability of following what I do. Okay? So once you have your source and your client, go to your source real fast to check. And um, click com if go to your compiler. When you cl you click it and if it says path is not specified, right click it, click edit, and you will see like JDK 1.6.0, etc. Um I'm just going to Oops, wrong one. Go to computer. Go to your hard drive. Go to program files. Go to um, Java. And you'll see like JDK 1. Point. That's your JDK. You're going to have to change that code to this code. You're going to have to change this code to that code. And I already changed that. What it was before that was like six notes. Yeah, like 12 or something, and then all I had to do was just change that to an 8. And save, exit, um, compile, and it should work. Um, that's about it. We're, um, I don't feel like showing you how to pour forward at the moment, because it just takes too much time. Um, I will put a video right about here. If you want to know, if you want to watch one of my videos on port forwarding, it's a lot easier. Um, now, go to your, what you're going to need to do is you're going to have to go to this site. It might be, it might be in my description. I might just be lazy and not put it in. Go to noip.com, log in or create an account, and make sure you download the program and install it. And, um, you're going to go to host and di redirects. And you're going to click add a host. I already have one there, but I block, I'm blocking out the IP so you guys can't see it. Um, the host name, let's just do something like um, WTFscape.com. Um, I'm just going to, you pick from the free ones. I'm just going to do noip.org. I'll open that. Show your noip. Click. I'm just going to edit. Let me just log in. Wait, I was logged into the wrong account. Wow, dumb. Just, okay. Well, I'm logging out to the little one. What you're going to do is, um, you're going to, you're going to see them with sunglasses on unchecked. Pick the one you want to check, and I'm just going to do, um, youtubescape.servegame.com. So, just click the check button, and it'll have a happy face. If it has, like, a weird looking face just unclick it click it again and um you can exit that oh my god of course it does that it's just... okay now go to your client now some clients have it in it but i'm just if you have an egy do it my way okay go down to egy and you will see these things like world one dot or whatever three times change the ip so or no, wait, I did YouTube Scape. YouTube Scape. Um, dot serve game dot com. I'm not guaranteeing it's that I can't remember. Let's just try it out. Come on. God damn it. There we go. Save. You're going to have to compile two, and the compiler is going to be um, needed in an update. See? Path system cannot find path specified. Just, oh my god, it's going to, oh no, didn't ask me this time. Okay, um, just change it to yours, 18. Um, in my description, I'm posting a link to this Syllabsoft compiler I made for the server only, the server source, not the client. What it does is it compiles, but instead of having to like, put in that code that we did here, it'll find your JDK. 
it has all the sights. I don't know. I just like it. It's helpful. I didn't put it on here, though. Um, okay, just compile, because you got to compile the, what you did. And let's... God damn. Gendel sucks. It's probably going to... There we go. Okay. What I'm just going to do is I'm going to quickly just run it. It's going to start up. Okay. And, um, just going to start up the source. Run server. Just log in. And it should let you log in like this. See? Your account has been reset through the update. It's fine. Nothing. Um, pretty decent server, I guess, if you like the editing. Um, another thing about it, nothing really. We got this. Um, free, no. Um, I don't know. Let's see if this works. I don't know, just whatever. See, server comes with that. Um, now I'm going to show you how to make someone an owner. You're going to log out. And with your account that you made, and you're going to go up to characters, you got to log out. Go to your account that you see, and go down and go to character rights. Change that to a three. That means owner. Um, one is mod, two is admin, three is owner. Um... Let's see. I'm just going to. What is this? What about, well, everything's changed. I guess we could change the stats, but what's the point? I can just do master. Um, comment, rate, subscribe. Let's and I will probably make more videos on Java on simple editing, not like really big ones, because I'm not. It just takes so much time. Let's see. I'm an owner. Um, pick up. Um, five or uh, one, whatever. No, whatever that is, a null. Oh, I believe one of them. But you understand. Um, pretty simple. Comment, rate, subscribe, enjoy, and um, let's try to get over thirty likes. And if we do that, I will probably start posting more how tos of like coding and all that to make this server better. I got ice in my veins.